Good evening. My name is Eric Tallman, reporting from Southeast Lower Michigan, and today I have the weather forecast for the next extended seven days. So hopefully you guys are going to like it, but I don't think you're going to enjoy this because we have several days of rain. We'll talk about that in just a moment. We just want to give you an update that uh, there has been a change in uh, the computer models. We'll get to that right now and show you what's going on with that. We were supposed to have severe weather. Let's get right to that and show you what's going on with that. Okay, we still have this cold front that still has to get through. Uh, southeast lower Michigan and it's halfway there it's in the uh, it's halfway there but it's getting there we've not had any uh, thunderstorms as of uh, right now we're going to go ahead and show you our radar to see if we've got anything going on we'll check that out right now that's the wrong one we're sorry about that okay and then we'll go ahead and show you the metro area to show you what's going on right now Okay, you can see all of in um, metropolitan Detroit, we do not have anything going on whatsoever. So that's actually surprising news for those that uh, like uh, the weather forecast, unfortunately. Uh, there's nothing going on in Macomb County, Oakland County, etc. Um, however, we did have some severe storms in the overnight hours, and some of them were kind of strong and they were really loud and rumbly. I know I've heard about that as well. And I know the Armada area got hit pretty hard this morning, so uh, it was kind of a little, uh, a little rattle and roll type of thing. We don't have any activity going on. I, I think we're trying to get a little bit of activity, but there isn't really much of concern there. Uh, but we're gonna talk about more right now and then we'll get into the rest of the forecast and just uh, one second. So let me uh, bring up our information here and uh, we'll get right to the nitty gritty here. So give me one moment while I bring up the stuff. Uh, right now, and we'll talk about what's happening right now. I just had to stop that so you guys knew what was going on. Okay, so this, we are going to continue to watch the Midwest and we'll see if any thunderstorms develop. Uh, looks like we've got, uh, let me get my cursor here. It looks like we might have a little cluster of a thunderstorm developing over by the Chicago, Illinois area. But like I said, we'll continue to watch uh, for thunderstorm development. I slightly doubt it if we're going to get that because we're not in the loop for it. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. So unfortunately, uh, we don't have to worry about that. But as of on Friday, I believe that is going to be the best chance of seeing uh, strong and severe thunderstorms. And we'll get to that in just a little bit. So you can actually see at the moment there is the cold front right there. That's got to get through. But ahead of the cold front, thunderstorms are supposed to be developing ahead of the uh, cold front. So that's what we're waiting for. And I have not seen any activity since that time. Uh, slight chance of severe weather. All of that is going to stay south of most of Michigan. So Oakland and our other viewing area see that. It's going to be further towards the south of uh, Michigan. So it's going to be right over this area and I believe Chicago, Illinois. You might get a little bit of burst of uh, excitement there. Uh, but just the uh, southern parts of Michigan way down over here might have a, a severe weather watch. We're keeping an eye on that. A moderate risk of severe weather. We're going to bring that up right now and show you that and then we'll have more in just a little bit. But our eyes will be on the Midwest. So let's show you where the rest of this action is right now and we'll get to it in just a little bit. So we do have the slight risk of severe weather. This area right here by uh, Rapid uh, City uh, severe weather watch is unlikely meaning that there's not going to be the potential of severe weather but over in this area, North uh, Plain, uh, you have a little cluster of a thunderstorm developing over there. Uh, severe weather uh, uh, watch, um, let me see what number it is, and I did uh, 281, um, severe weather watch 281, or 284, one of the two, 
is in effect for this area over here so you're under a watch so just be aware that you've got severe weather that's going to be developing. A possible uh, severe weather watch could go over in this area extending from the Ohio border into a little part of southeast lower Michigan that does not include the entire viewing area so we're not going to be under the gun for severe weather but I believe our better chance of severe weather comes on Friday talk about that uh, and uh, we'll talk about that on Thursday for sure and we'll have more details on the severe weather uh, situation and uh, when that is going to come in for Friday. That's probably going to be the most action potential that we're going to see and we'll let you know exactly what is to be expected of that. So the slight risk of severe weather extends all the way from this area over here over Dodge City where the where it's circle and it will extend all the way from Buffalo and it stops all the way up in here where you see the slight uh, chance of severe weather. So unfortunately we are very lucky that we do not have to deal with that um, kind of issue but um, furthermore we're, we're kind of lucky. Um, Alright let's talk about the extended forecast and we'll get to all the rest of the details that you need to know that will be at 7. 7 o'clock, 7.30, unfortunately, so we're running behind on schedule. Uh, right now, the current conditions are mostly cloudy skies. The high is 86 degrees. It's been kind of hot and very humid and sticky outside, but there hasn't been a lot of energy going on to actually fuel these thunderstorms up, so I don't know if there's really going to be any action tonight. Um, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Um, humidity right now is... 40%. Uh, wind speed is actually 15, uh, 15 miles coming from the west. Gusts actually at 28 miles per hour. Barometer is 29.66 inches right now. Uh, dew point temperature is 59 degrees. Visibility is at 12 miles right now. We have a heat index, a heat index of 85 degrees, so that's very very sticky so if you're on the beach you might want to be wearing some of that suntan lotion so you don't get sunburned okay for the remainder of the rest of our extended forecast this is what it looks like thunderstorms are not going to be an issue that that's out of the forecast uh, for right now as uh, as I reported uh, so for tonight mostly uh, mostly cloudy skies the low 57 degrees Thursday, mostly sunny skies, the high of 78 degrees, and then we'll have a low of 61 degrees with a chance of showers, 30% chance of showers on Thursday night. And then for Friday, we're definitely going to watch that. Showers are likely, um, but that potentially might turn into severe weather. That Friday is going to be the day that we're really going to be most concerned about. We'll let you know if that changes. But for right now, in the seven day, uh, we have showers likely, 70% accuracy, high for Friday is going to be 83 degrees, and then for Friday night, 80% chance of showers, so most definitely we're going to get uh, uh, rain soaked. Uh, the low is going to be 57 uh, degrees, and then on Saturday, 40% chance of showers, and then the high of 75 degrees. Saturday, 30% chance of showers. And then the low goes down to 60 uh, degrees. And then um, we're going onward and up here. And then for Sunday, we have a chance of thunderstorms, the high of 79 degrees on Sunday. And then Sunday night, we have a chance of seeing thunderstorm activity again, low uh, 64 uh, degrees. So like I said, Friday is actually going to be one of those days that we're going to keep our very close eye on or of the possibility of severe weather hitting southeast Michigan again, so most definitely. I will be keeping a close eye on that starting today, and we'll have more details prior to the severe weather potential for Friday if we get that. So unfortunately, we're very lucky that we don't have to worry about thunderstorms as of right now. If we do get uh, thunderstorm activity tonight, if we do get any, I'll let you know, but as far as uh, severe weather is concerned, we're not going to get that. That is going to be further towards the south. We'll show it to you again. 
And then that is going to be the end for right now, and we'll have more details later. So the severe weather is basically going to continue to be uh, over in the south area. We're waiting to see if the Storm Prediction Center issues uh, a severe weather watch. Now if they do, we'll have to have some concern and we'll have to monitor that very closely to see exactly which way those severe thunderstorms are going to go and we'll keep you posted on that. But remember if you're further towards the west, uh, there is actually uh, a severe weather watch that's in effect for that area because they've got uh, strong severe thunderstorms developing. So we'll have the very latest and much more coming up at 7.15, 8 o'clock tonight with more. Um, so we'll see you then. This is meteorologist Eric Tolman. Thank you so much for joining me on my news station. And we'll always have the up-to-date weather forecast, including severe weather and breaking news. So uh, we'll have much more coming up in a half an hour. We'll see you then. Thank you for watching, and have a nice night.